If I go on for too long, my wife is certain to cut it. <laughs> I would also like to add, I'm not particularly keen on making speeches, but I've been married to Claire for 23 years now, and this will be the first chance I've had of seeing if my voice works over the course of more than one sentence. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being here. I know that some of you have, uh, have further to come than others, but you're all welcome on guests on this special day. Standing here in front of you today, I feel incredibly, incredibly old. To me, it was only yesterday that Bailey was born, and I never thought I'd be as happy as I was then, when the doctor held him in the air and Kaylee looked around over a little book nose with, with the most indignant look, as if to say, well, I'm here where all the vampires have arrived. Until seeing her today, my daughter is radiant as she does on the wedding day. Makes me even happier than I thought that ever was possible. I am so proud of everything she has become. Kaylee was born 22 years ago in August. I remember it with great pride as one of the greatest moments of my life. It only seems a little more than the length of a night before I'm here giving her away today. In between, Kaylee has given Claire and I so much to be proud of. It was only last month she we saw Kaylee complete a law degree at Bournemouth University. could say, Polly and Saturus, and count the 18 stairs on the way to bed before she was two. <laughs> and now we're all here to see her looking more beautiful than ever, and married to Chris. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, you're brother in Canada. I'll stand Skype from Vancouver. I hope you like these wedding suits. To make sure we'll be able to fit into mine, I'll be watching my weight. As you can see, I'm only right out in front of me, where I can see it the best. <laughs> I don't think I've forgotten you, Chris. As a matter of fact, not knowing an lot, awful lot about you, I made inquiries at the local police station. I thought that would be a good place to start thinking of dirt on my future son in law. But I had nothing to say, except. You were the perfect guest when then we stay over. <laughs> Chris, a word of advice. Being a husband is like any other job. It's easier if you like the boss. <laughs> now Chris, can you place your hand on top of Kayla's? I just wanted to let you know, knowing the Hilton women as I do, this is the last time you like to drop the open hand. <laughs> Before I wrap up with the toast, I want to offer you both a few words of advice how to maintain a healthy relationship. I've learned this from being married to Kaylee's mum for all these years. It's down to communication. If Kaylee says we need, she really means I want. If Kaylee says this, the decision is yours, she really means the correct decision should be obvious. And if Kaylee says, do you love me, she really means I'm about to ask for something really expensive. <laughs> Good health, but most importantly, may you have the money to enjoy it. <laughs> but when it is time to enjoy your fun with friends and family, gather to see the happy couple off as they start the new life. But it's a time also when our thoughts invariably turn to those who cannot be with us. So let's up be outstanding and raise the glass to Justin, Katie's brother, currently in Vancouver. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding.
and for Chris's mother, whom we remember and love with pride, Diane. And lastly, can you remain outstanding and toast to the happy couple, Katie and Chris. Katie and Chris. Christopher Bang is totally confused. The whole family are. <laughs>